pie, pork ribs are a favorite year round, either smoked, on the grill, or in the oven. I'm Chef Lynn, and this is Eating Sharp. Hi, welcome back. So on today's show, I'm going to do smoked ribs outside, and I have the Eating Sharp sweet and spicy um, dry rub here that um, I'll go ahead and put on the pork before I put it on to the grill to smoke. Now, um, a nice big slab of ribs comes like this, and it has um, some fat and some silver skin. Now, the silver skin is what's going to make it uh, chewy, and that's the real thin layer. It looks almost like a skin. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right down in here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off some of this fat um, and some of this uh, silver skin. And I'll save how to do that in a more advanced uh, video. So let me go ahead and get this guy prepped up and we'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. As you can see, I've taken off uh, some of that fat and the silver skin on both sides now. Now we're going to go ahead and prep this to um, put the uh, dry rub on. And the thing you want to do here is you want to get it as dry as you can. You don't want all that extra moisture um, on your pork, the extra blood, um, and that sort of stuff. So let's get this dried up some. You can use a towel. I like using a towel instead of paper towels. It just works a little better and you don't get uh, paper towels stuck all over onto your uh, rib. Okay? So that looks pretty good. Okay, so I have my, my dry rub right here and you just want to put it on pretty generously and just rub that right in to the meat. Just get it all over underneath any little flaps that are there. Make sure it's covered graciously with the, the dry rub. Because this is what's going to give it that extra added flavor um, when you go ahead and put it onto the smoker. Now some dry rubs request that you let it sit overnight. Um, my dry rub, you can just put it on, get your um, smoker prepped, and it'll be ready to go. We'll just put it on this other side here. See, I have a couple of flaps here, so we want to make sure we get it all underneath the flaps. Just rub it right in there, nice and good. And then fold those flaps over and continue to add more of the dry rub. You know, this little scoop I had lost for a couple of years, it was my mom's um, flour scoop that she kept in her flour bin so that she could do uh, bread. It's a half cup, make sure you get the ends too, it's a half cup measuring from uh, Tupperware. And she would use this every week to make a spread. I'm going to go ahead and flip this part up and over just so it's a little uh, thicker and it makes it cook all a little evener, evenly, excuse me, once I get it onto the grill. Okay, just like that, we'll put it right onto here and now I'll go out and get that grill ready. So stay tuned and I'll see you right back here. Just a minute. Hi, welcome back. We're outside and I'm about ready to prepare the smoker. But there's a couple of things that you need to take into consideration before you start smoking. And one, you need to get yourself uh, a good quality charcoal. Oops. And the other thing is you need, um, I like to use hickory uh, wood chips. And I smoke, all right, excuse me, I soak these in water. Um, two three hours prior to um, using the smoker. And the last thing that you want to consider is what type of smoker you're going to get. Now you've got to take in consideration your cooking level, your budget, 
and um, those two things will warrant uh, which kind of smoker you get. Now I have um, a smoky hollow um, smoker. It has uh, the hot box down here, the burning box down here, which is where you create the smoke. Now you can also um, cook on this section. And then it also has here, this is where I do most of my smoking. The smoke comes through. Um, and you can also load um, uh, briquettes and wood here and cook on this um, also. On this side it has a induction burner. It's uh, 25,000 BTU, or excuse me, 20, yeah, 25,000 BTUs for searing your meat um, to seal in all those juices. And then of course here I have the, um, the gas um, barbecue on this side. So let me uh, move the camera around so I can show you how to build your fire in the um, hot box and we'll move right along. Be right back. Okay, as you can see here, I've put a few down in a pyramid type shape so that they're going up like a pyramid. Now we'll go ahead and put the lighter fluid right on these guys, drench them up good. And we'll go ahead and light it. You can see I've used this. Now I know that this uh, smoker doesn't take much to stay at temperature. So that's why I don't have this loaded up. Okay, so we'll just do it like that. And we'll go ahead and light this on fire. Now, when that burns down and I get some ashing around the outside of those charcoals, um, we'll be right back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, welcome back. As you uh, saw um, just before we returned, I put on in the uh, smoker box a few of those uh, hickory, soaked hickory um, chips. Now that's nicely smoking. So I have a pan here. What I like to do is I like to fill this with apple juice. Some people like to do um, beer. I like to do apple juice. I think it gives uh, a much better flavor um, to the meat, um, especially pork or um, uh, poultry. Uh, it just gives a better flavor. So let's go ahead and slide these back over. This. Like this, and it'll catch all of the juices now from the uh, pork uh, ribs here. So let's go ahead and put these guys right on here, just like that. We want to make sure that they are over the pan so any drippings will go right down into that pan. So we'll go ahead and shut this, uh, close this. Now, you'll want to keep this at uh, no more than 225. If it gets uh, a little too hot, um, you'll cook your uh, meat a little too fast. So keep an eye on your temperature gauge. And you can adjust that. Uh, you have a uh, air intake on the end down there, and I also have an air intake down here. And I can adjust that. The more air I give, the hotter the fire, um, and the quicker it will burn. And the uh, less air, the, the, the slower it will burn, and it won't be as hot. Um, I like to crack the top chimney smoker about a finger's width so that um, the uh, smoke can escape. So I'll keep an eye on this. Um, I add uh, wood chips and charcoal um, as the uh, fire uh, burns down. And uh, we'll keep you posted on this. So stay tuned and we'll be back. As you can see, it's really smoking well. Now this will take about uh, three to four hours to smoke all the way through and cook at, uh, if you keep it at the temperature of 225. If you have it uh, more to 300, it'll cook uh, a lot less. And uh, if you cook it at 200 or below, it'll take a little bit longer. But I find that 225 temperature is the best for your smoking. Okay, stay tuned. 
Hi, welcome back. I had some issues keeping it up to temperature, so it took a little bit longer than I expected, but they're ready to go. So I'm going to pull them off this grill, get them in the house, and let's give them a try. All right? Look at the color on that. It's beautiful. And Oh, they smell really good. So I'm gonna get these in the house and I'll meet you in there. Hi, I'm inside now and let's take a nice look at this. Look at the color on that. You know, really the way you can tell they're done is not only is the meat shrinking between the bones, but when you go to put a fork in between, the weight of the ribs pull it right off the fork. Let's take a look at this back side. Look at that nice coloring there. So let's get a knife here and take a taste and see. I'm going to cut it right down the center. Ooh, they're nice and warm. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can see the nice pink inside. It's cooked all the way through and the knife went through there like butter. So let's get another rib right off of here like this. And see how this tastes. Ooh, they're hot. Right here. Mmm. They're tender, juicy, sweet, and smoky. And then you get that nice little bite of spice on the end. Mmm. They are tender and juicy. Mmm. That spicy, excuse me, that sweet and spicy rub really did them justice. Really flavorful, really enhanced with the um, smoke flavor from the hickory. Mm. These are delicious. So, I hope you learned something today. And remember, it's all about the food. Bye-bye.